Guys, so today I'm gonna to be talking about totally rocking out. Now, I've compiled a list of some of the most powerful totally rocking out builds that I could come up with. And today I'm gonna to be showcasing the Bobcat. Now, oh man, oh man, do I have a build for you? <laughs> okay, guys, so this one is gonna rock your world. What I have done is I have, I have taken all of my weapons that were most perfectly designed to utilize the power of the totally rocking out team perk and i have re reperked all of them basically ruining my guns but designing them specifically with to to empower the total totally rocking out team perk into a truly unstoppable absolutely unrivaled offensive force of destruction this is a ludicrously powerful build and it is the first of a series of absolutely mental crazy power juggernaut builds so Get yourself seated in, guys. This is going to be a doozy. You are going to be in for a treat. And I really, truly hope that you have the heroes and the tools to make this work for you. Because holy cow, you have never, ever seen damage like this, man. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. All right, guys. If you love the content that we do here, if you love our videos, please Please use our supporter creator code. It really helps us to keep on doing these videos and creating content for you guys. So thank you so much for the support, guys. All right, let's get right into it. <laughs> so the Totally Rockin' Out team perk is very simple. Rocking Riff is the core backbone of this team perk. R totally Rocking Out empowers this ability. The Rocking Riff uh, becomes empowered with 160 crit rate for the eight second decaying duration of the rocking riff it also heals you for 73.75 base health which is approximately 20 percent of your health it's not huge it's not super impressive but getting that crit rate bonus puts us in a unique situation to create the most powerful offensive weapons ever known in this game so so mind-boggling that you're going to ask yourself the serious question of uh do i really need to be immortal <laughs> oh man so this guy is uh this is it guys this is the most powerful totally rocking out build uh in the entire game this thing will delete a <laughs> power 174 smasher uh, in under a clip. So the whole point of this build is to take crit damage to the extreme. What we did is we took the Bobcat and we got rid of its crit rate and we put nothing but crit damage on this gun. This is one of the few guns uh, there is a, a line of guns that have cr have the ability to go triple crit damage uh, at the cost of everything else. And this is one of them. This is the one that can dump the most damage in the shortest amount of time. This is the, the crit cat. Crit damage, crit damage, crit damage, damage to slowed and snared, and energy. Of course, if you want to truly destroy something then you want to go elemental specific now for the sake of the video i just went with element energy so you can actually do way more damage than my build is showcasing by creating an element specific weapon for the target that you're fighting to go with physical if you want to melt blasters flingers lovers propane go with fire if you want to kill nature Go with nature if you want to kill water. Go with water if you want to kill fire. If you build the perfect counter weapon, this will be the most damage that you will ever see. 
probably in the history of the game. This is just absolute nonsense amounts of damage. So that's the way it works. You trigger the totally rocking out team perk. You crit the maximum amount of crits that you can possibly crit on a weapon. Completely, absolutely destroying enemies like they're not even there. You can shoot into a crowd and just fold them like paper mache. It's just absolutely brutal. This gun is crazy, crazy offense. So this is how we make it work. We took this hero here. Obviously, tactical assault, sledgehammer. He is uh, he's the king, man. He's the king. This is where you get to really, truly utilize that 225% uh, critical damage is when you crit constantly. You have the max, just maxing out your crit rate. And, uh, and yeah, the, the, you got to remember, it's not 100% crit uh, because crit rate is a diminishing return. So the more you have, the less it gives you. So it, it starts to cap out um, at around 60%. So with this here, you're going to basically get to utilize over half of this 225% on average. It is just crazy town, man. Crazy town. So in order to utilize the Rock and Rift, what we did is uh, we went and took two characters because we needed two characters uh, from the Totally Rad set to activate this ability. Uh, the ones that we chose was Mr. Varsity Hero. Varsity Hero gives you a 7% chance that eliminated, eliminated, eliminated enemies will fumble a football. Well, there's a tongue twister if ever I saw one. <laughs> Footballs grant Rocking Riff when they're picked up. The Rocking Riff will increase your damage by 50%, your attack speed by 32%, which of course doesn't matter because we're not using melee. This is just all about all about those guns. So Bobcat's gonna get a 50% damage bonus for eight seconds. It's a decaying eight seconds, so the effect will become weaker the longer you shoot it. Uh, and this is a fairly, you know, unreliable ability because it's a it's only 7%, right? You gotta kill enemies, and then 7% of the time, they're gonna drop something on the ground. Then you, but, but, this ability is amazing, however, because when the footballs are on the floor, you get to pick when you pick them up. Every time you pick up a football, you automatically trigger the heal, you trigger the crit, you trigger the damage, and you can immediately start shooting instantaneously, unloading everything you got at the enemies for that full eight seconds. It's terrifying. Absolutely terrifying. Especially when you think, oh wait, I've got a few, I've got a few footballs on the ground. So, you can hit one, heal yourself, and if you're injured, you can just keep running over them to heal yourself more and keep on refreshing that decaying effect. So this this guy is actually just insane. Um, it's a little inconsistent, but the inconsistency is really evened out when you consider that Subwafers um, is 100% consistent. Uh, this character here is Main Stage Quinn. She gives you the ability to collect subwafers whenever you harvest metal objects. Uh, every time you break something metal, there's a 32% chance that you'll get some subwafers. Now, this is problematic when you are on a level that has virtually no metal whatsoever. I came up against this in a in like a like a forest grasslands area, and man oh man, I couldn't find anything. I, even in the caves, I was getting almost nothing like there's just no metal anywhere just starving for metal so in that situation you can always use uh the trick to create your own metal walls and break those walls um we showcase that in one of our other videos you can go check it out um but typically that's not an issue typically you're going to go and spend most of the start of the game uh hunting around the cities especially looking for fences. I love to shoot out fences. I love to shoot out anything except for cars, honestly. Cars, I just feel like I don't want I don't want to wreck them. I don't want to blow them up because usually I'll use an obliterator when I'm farming metal. I'll just start shooting out metal all over the place, shooting through fences, shooting through um, train tracks, uh, shooting through whatever metal objects I can possibly find. Um, 
If it's a car though, I'll usually harvest the car because I want to get all that metal and I want to get the nuts and bolts and the me mechanical parts and all that stuff, right? You, I really want to take full advantage and uh, get everything. But this ability is incredible because what I'll do is I'll farm up to 100 usually. So I have tons and tons and tons. Not I, I hate the idea that I might run out of my power and be worthless. <laughs> so I usually get about 100 and then coach through the rest of the match with just absolute godlike power. Now, the great thing about this character is that you can take the wafers out of your, your weapons inventory, put them on your main bar, and trigger them whenever you need them. So if you are ever really hurting and you're running away, you can just start slamming these things down and, uh, and healing yourself. Um, and knowing that the second you pop it in your mouth, you immediately switch to your bobcat and you just start absolutely destroying everybody. You start crushing smashers. You start crushing huskies. You can wipe out an entire wave, like waves and waves of husks. Nothing is safe. Blasters get destroyed. Flingers destroyed. Lobbers and propanes are nothing to you. You can destroy anything. The most impressive is when a giant elemental smasher comes up in your face and you just absolutely lay waste to him. If you're unable to kill him in a single clip, what you want to do is reload your gun before you trigger your wafer again. If you ever finish your targets and you still have ammo left in your clip, then what you want to do is just reload right away so that and then switch to your wafer always run around with a wafer in your hand so that you're ready wafer and then immediately you're to your gun because you've only got eight seconds to destroy you can't count on a fumble happening right if a fumble happens you can you can go for it longer you can like trigger it again get another heal upgrade your damage back up to eight seconds you know and just go crazy on the enemies. And it's just incredible. Absolutely incredible. And you got to remember that this is a 50% damage bonus that applies to everything. Meaning it's not just your bobcat. Uh, you have Tactical Assault Sledgehammer. And Sledgehammer has some abilities. Namely, Shockwave and Frag Grenade. Shockwave is incredible. If you ever use a wafer before you shockwave you'll know what true clearing power is it is insane you pop a wafer and then lay down a shockwave you're gonna feel like the incredible hulk tearing your enemies to pieces just boom and everyone goes flying and just all the mediums die the huskies get hammered it is fantastic it feels so good oh it feels so good it's such a satisfying juggernaut murder machine of a build man this thing is insane just insane offense even grenades hit hard even grenades you can pop up you can pop a wafer and start chucking grenades and your grenades are gonna hit like a truck 50 percent more damage it's fantastic absolutely fantastic so you have all these options, everything at your disposal. The subwafers are just incredible. Now, to augment this uh, this this build even more, what I've done is I've actually taken two things. I've taken um, Light Show Spitfire with the 30% increased magazine size. Then I went and took uh, Stars and Stripes Jonesy with the Assault Ammo Recovery. This is to make the Bobcat shoot l as long as it can possibly shoot. The whole goal is to shoot for as long as possible. I want to be able to shoot for over eight seconds so that we can we can utilize the full effect, the full effect plus a little bit, just in case we, we get a re-trigger, we accidentally step on a fumble or whatever, and we just keep on shooting. We're gonna be able to fully utilize every single ounce of the rocking riff before we have to pop a new one because whenever you have to pop a new one you have to stop you have to reload your gun and then you have to get your 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 wafer out eat it 
and then switch and go again. So you really want to make sure that you fully, fully capture the power of your Bobcat. We already have the critical damage. The There are other options. Uh, you don't have to take uh, both of these. You can, you can decide to take uh, just the Assault Ammo Recovery, which is a little better than Waste Not, Want Not. You could switch it out for... Um, for Rescue Trooper Ramirez, if you want to get an extra 17% 17, uh, 17 assault damage, that is definitely an option. As you can see, 17% assault damage is pretty incredible. This will make it so that you might not get the full 8 seconds, but it will, it will really capitalize on the the strongest portion of that decaying buff so you do have some options uh there is no right answer there is a lot of different ways that you can build this um but ultimately uh most of the damage is going to be coming from the the riff the rocking riff itself and the the just the crazy amount of crits that you're going to be doing so uh regardless of which one you tr decide to take the damage is still going to be just completely absolutely out of control so that is it guys the last one is just survivalist jonesy we want to make sure we have some some healing going on um, i tried using this with crossbones barrett with coconuts but honestly having two two activators on your bar to use uh felt cumbersome uh felt inefficient and having to switch out um interrupting your your riff uh felt counterintuitive and i found that using survivalist jonesy to have this persistent healing uh just kept you alive just a little bit longer it to to be able to utilize your full power and then you can worry about healing afterwards you can go and heal up by being safe picking off targets using the survivalist skill to heal yourself over time and boosting yourself back up or using a campfire whatever it is that you want to do um, I found that Survivalist was the preferred means of healing for this style of build. I went with uh, Hover Turret and Slow Field, which is just uh, my backbone gadgets, just for suppressive fire and mini boss killing. Uh, this guy absolutely annihilates mini bosses. Uh, I don't think there's another character in the game that will do anywhere near the amount of damage that you need to do to a mini boss. Um, there there's some other rocking rotten totally rocking out builds that i have that specifically are better against against a mini boss um potentially but nothing compares to the amount of damage that the bobcat can put out in such a short time it's just even even quite you know high level dangerous mini bosses getting completely absolutely melted by this gun it's just oh my god guys this is insane man this is insane i'm not going to say this is better than the immortal the immortal gunner because the immortal gunner is always going to be my backbone uh there's there's no co competing with a class that does top tier damage and is also unkillable um the the big weakness to this character is that you are extremely vulnerable to death uh, you're vulnerable to getting one shot killed. Uh, you're vulnerable to blaster fire. Anything that does damage to you puts you in immediate jeopardy. And ultimately, it doesn't. All the damage in the world doesn't matter if you're dead. But that said, if you play really smart, you're really careful, and you're really opportunistic, and you like to, you, you create those opportunities to s just devastate enemies uh, without any real form of repercussion. Um, this this build is just untouchable damage, just untouchable. Like I can't I, I can't stress enough how how crazy this is. Uh, there we're going to be showcasing you a whole bunch of other triple crit damage weapons that you can turn into juggernaut builds. And uh, you're after you try this one, you're going to want to try them all, man. This is the the core foundation for the totally rocking out team bird i'm sorry it took me so long to to get to the team bird guys there's been so much content uh dropping for these in these patches and so much to talk about so many cool things showing up on reddit uh, different news stories uh it's taken me a long time to get around to doing this also because i've been really reluctant to reperk all of my guns 
uh, to do this. Uh, ultimately, I'm glad I did, and I think I'm probably going to keep my guns permanently as uh, triple crit damage weapons, just because I have such a diverse amount of weapons. I can always use uh, different kinds of guns to do different kinds of things, and I think my Bobcat set is going to be one of those sets that forevermore is going to be that that crazy, crazy, totally rocking out uh, build, so that I can switch whenever I want and have a gun that's just perfectly designed for this. All right, guys, I really hope that you enjoyed this review because I had a lot of fun shooting this one, finding a lot of video clips to showcase you all the insane damage and the crazy deletion power of this build. This one really, it's really fun. It is really, really fun. This is the first one that I thought of when I was thinking about, when I looked at this, uh, you know, you, you take one look at totally rocking out and you're like, oh my God which is the best triple crit damage gun in the game? I'm like, Bobcat. Duh. Bobcat's the king, man. <laughs> it's funny how it always comes back to the Bobcat. It's, uh, there's only a few guns in the game that rock triple crit damage and have perfect synergy with this kind of build. And this one is number one on that list. <laughs> All right, guys, make sure that you like and subscribe. Leave a thumbs up, please. Ring that little bell for notifications and leave a comment down below. Let me know what you guys think. Thank you so much for being a part of the Bash Core, guys. Oh, yeah! <laughs> I love you guys. Thank you so much for making this job possible. Thank you so much for watching my videos. I love you guys, and I'll see you in the next one. <laughs> <Woo -hoo! laughs>